I have three red reflective triangles. My fire extinguisher is properly charged and rated. My first aid kit is present and stocked. I have spare fuses. My seat belt is securely mounted, adjusts, latches properly with no rifts or frays. I will check the rest of my seat belts the same way. Now I will perform my safe start, making sure my bus is in park. I turn my key one click forward, waiting for my ABS light to come on and go off. I will now start my bus. This completes my safe start. My heaters works properly. My defrost works properly. My student crossing mirrors are clean and properly adjusted. My traffic mirror mirrors are clean and properly adjusted. My student mirror is clean and properly adjusted. My windshield is clean with no legal stickers, no obstructions or damage to the glass. My wipers, arms and blades are secure, not damaged, operate smoothly with fluid. My horn works properly. I will turn on my master flasher, my strobe light, and my headlights. I'm going to do my indicator light check. My alternating flashing amber warning indicator lights works properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My alternating flashing red warning indicator lights works properly on the monitor and the dashboard. Now we're going to do what we call a triangle. Check the stop sign. It's securely mounted to the frame with no damage or loose fittings. The lights are clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. If you look in the fish eye there, you see my student crossing arm is operating properly. My service door operates properly from the inside, closes securely. My step well light is clean with no brakes, functional and proper color. My handrails are secure. My stairwell is clear. My stairwell treads are not loose or excessively worn. My left turn signal indicator light works properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My right turn signal indicator light works properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My four-way flasher indicator lights works properly on the monitor and the dashboard. My high beam indicator light works properly on the dashboard. My brake light indicator light works properly on the monitor. My tail light indicator light works properly on the monitor. My backup light indicator light works properly on the monitor. Now I'm going to check my gauges. My oil pressure gauge is functional. The pressure is normal with no warning light. My temperature gauge is functional, climbing to a normal operating range with no temperature light. My voltmeter shows the alternator is charging with no warning light. I will now perform my hydraulic brake test. Pumping my pedal three times, one, two, three, holding for five seconds, one, two, three, four, five. My pedal didn't move, my hydraulic brake pressure is good. I will now perform my service brake test. 
putting my bus in drive, releasing my parking brake, letting my bus coast up to five miles an hour, coming to a complete stop. My bus didn't pull to the right or the left and it stopped correctly. My service brakes works properly. I will now perform my parking brake test. Making sure my parking brake is on, I put my bus in gear, rev it up to a thousand RPMs. My bus did not move, my parking brakes works properly. I will now turn off my headlights, my master flasher, and my strobe light to turn my key back, the accessory position, and disarm my student alarm. Hold the button down for a few seconds. There we go. I will now perform my auxiliary brake test. Turning my key to the off position. Applying my foot on the brakes. Listening for the system motor. My, I heard it, so my auxiliary backup system is functional. I will now turn my key one click forward, turn on my strobe light, and continue with my pre-trip here. My seat frame is firmly attached to the floor with no damage. My seat cushions are firmly attached to the frame with no damage. I will check the rest of my seats the same way. My emergency exit hatch is not damaged, operates smoothly, the functional warning device closes securely. My emergency exit window is not damaged, operates smoothly with the functional warning device and closes securely. My emergency exit window is not damaged operates smoothly the functional warning device and closes securely my emergency exit hatch is not damaged operates smoothly with a functional warning device and closes securely my strobe light is clean with no brakes functional and proper color My emergency exit door is not damaged, operates smoothly with a functional warning device and closes securely. That's my interior pre-trip inspection. If the examiner asks you, did you miss anything or are you sure you're done or anything of that matter? I mean, you probably did forget something. They're trying to give you a chance to catch up. Once you are finished your pre-trip, don't forget to turn the key and take it with you when you get off the bus. Always take the key with you when you exit the bus. Never leave it in the ignition.